so we are talking about the mechanism of hormone action so first the hormone is going to be secreted and it will reach the target in cell so in the target cell there will be what a specific receptor so this is the receptor for each hormone so this hormone is going to bind with the receptor forming hormone receptor complex okay once this hormone receptor complex is formed it will change the concentration of contents inside the cell so here in this case the calcium ion concentration is going to be changed okay now this calcium ions have become an internal receptor okay so then that will lead to what a biochemical change and because of this biochemical change there may be what a physical response okay so how the physical response came it is because of biochemical changes inside the cell how the biochemical changes came it is because of the problems with the calcium ions it is because of the calcium ions how the bio, how the concentration of this calcium ions changed just because of what the action of the hormone okay. so now that is the way these hormones are working okay so we must understand that these receptors are highly specific then so this is one situation the situation where the hormone does not enter into the cell okay but in the case of some other hormones there are certain hormones they can enter into the cell because these hormones will have an internal receptor for example just look here cortisol or estrogen two different hormones okay so this is the hormone they do not have what membrane receptors membrane bound receptors is, is not there so they will enter into through this cell membrane they will enter into a inside the cell and inside the cell will be reaches here that is this may be the nucleus of the cell okay so in this nucleus these hormones will have a, a receptor so this is the receptor here so this is the receptor in the nucleus so it will bind with it but the receptor formed in the nucleus so that here also what a hormone receptor complex is formed but this hormone receptor complex it is formed where it is formed in cell the nucleus okay so here now what will happen is that now this hormone is reached in cell the nucleus so this is the chromosome dna of the nucleus so this hormone will act upon this dna okay it will bind with the dna when it is binding with the dna the dna will express a kind of protein some of the genes in the dna is going to start going it will start to express and that will produce what a new protein when the cell is producing a new protein it will express a physical response so these are the ways by which the hormones can act one is for we use the what uh, the membrane membrane bound receptors this is the membrane bound receptor but in another case there is no membrane bound receptor so these hormones will pass through the cell membrane and reach in the uh, nuclear membrane crossing the nuclear membrane okay then inside the nucleus there may be what the receptor so it will bind with the receptor that will lead to some changes in the dna so the dna will express dna will make a protein okay so here we can see the fsh and here we can see the estrogen or what cortisol okay then depending upon the chemical nature of this hormones they can be divided here certain hormones are peptide in nature they are peptide or polypeptide or proteinaceous peptide polypeptide or protein hormones okay so that is one case peptide hormones or what 
polypeptide hormones or protein hormones for example pancreatic hormones insulin glucagon the like the pituitary hormones and hypothalamic hormones all these are what they are peptide hormones okay or they are known as what polypeptide hormones or protein hormones understood okay then other case that is what steroid hormones for example cortisol from the adrenal gland okay cortisol for testosterone for this are what steroid hormones another class of hormones is what iodothyronin iodothyronin we studied about this tri iodothyronin and what tetra iodothyronin t3 and t4 thyroid hormones they are coming under iodothyronin because it contain contain thyronin plus iodine the amino acid derivatives the derivatives of amino acids okay for example adrenaline epinephrine or what adrenaline okay so in this way uh, peptide steroid iodothyronin and the amino acid derivative hormones are there So here, in, in, in this case, the steroid and iodothyronin, they will come into the cell. Their receptors are what found in the nucleus. Okay, their receptors are found inside the nucleus. So here, like this way. But in this case, the FSH, that is called pituitary hormone, or insulin, they will have what receptor in the membrane. Cell membrane. They are known as what? Membrane-bound receptors. Complex is formed. Then inside that, the calcium ions are formed. Biochemical changes their physical response. Here also what happens? Hormone variety is coming inside. Go to the nucleus. In the nucleus, they will have what? The receptor. Bind it with that receptor. that will lead to changes in the dna changes the expression of genes some genes is going to be expressed understand so for example during the cold time during the cold, cold uh, when we are comparing the cold or uh, the winter and summer season some of the changes is happening into our body and some of these changes may be result of what certain kind of hormones so during winter time certain type of hormones are secreted more and because of that hormones these hormones reach the cell inside the nucleus okay when it is reaching inside the nucleus they will change the uh, certain genes to express more okay so we have different genes in the body not all genes are expressed all the time okay certain genes are in switching on condition some genes are in switching off condition so in winter season some genes are going to be switching on or some are to be switching off then in summer season there will be the opposite case okay so this may be having certain uh, controlled by this kind of hormones okay so that is where what the mechanism of what the hormone action okay so here uh, uh, we have will we have learned about the hormone action and the types of hormones based on their what chemical nature okay so now we are going to winding up the next class we will learn about the uh the last part of this chapter there is uh, there are certain kind of uh, hormone there but in some other parts of the body also that also we have to